Brett Pontecorvo here at MainStageToAbleton.com. Today we're going to talk about how to set up your IAC driver on a Mac. So we're going to go through how to set it up in the Mac operating system, how to set it up in your preferences inside Ableton so that everything is working fluidly and you're not getting any crazy types of feedback that totally stop your project. And then we're going to talk about how you can map from your IAC driver to different parameters in live so you can make use of that during a live set. Let's jump in. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is open up your audio MIDI setup. Um, and you can click Window, Show MIDI Studio. Now this is going to give you a list of all of your MIDI devices here. Um, what you want to look for is the thing that says IAC Bus. Now this is MIDI routing because I've renamed it and that's what I like to look at when I'm working in Ableton. Um, but it will have these little dots, these notes here. So if you double click that, you can rename it to MIDI routing if you want. Um, you'll want to check device is online and you'll want to make sure you have some ports. If you don't have one, hit the plus and you'll be in business. You can click apply and you'll be all good to go. Okay, so let's head over here to Ableton. Um, the next thing that we need to be able to do is set up our MIDI preferences. So in Link MIDI, uh, under your MIDI ports, um, you'll see you've got some inputs and some outputs. So here's MIDI routing. That is what I just set up. It's what you just set up. Um, and you'll want to make sure track and remote are on for input. That's going to allow you to send notes from a MIDI clip to a device on another track through your IAC bus. And remote is going to allow you to send MIDI CCs from a clip uh, to anywhere in Ableton Live through your MIDI bus. And for your output, you'll want to make sure track is on, um, which will allow you to receive the notes that you've sent. But remote needs to be off because if remote is on for your output, um, you will get a crazy loop and you don't want any of that business. Okay. So next you'll want to have a MIDI channel here that receives MIDI from nowhere and sends MIDI to your MIDI routing and to the channel that makes sense for what you're doing. Um, now I've created a clip here. Um, you can do the same. Click uh, in a blank slot and can set a new one up. Um, and you'll have a list of all of these different MIDI CC commands. So let's pick one. I'm going to pick 31. And let's create an envelope that goes from 0 to 127. Now I'm going to map that to the on-off of my filter. Um, so you can do that by clicking play on the envelope that you just created. Now you'll see this channel strip as it's playing is sending MIDI out. And you can see Ableton is receiving it. Now we want to map that here. So if you hit Command M you'll see that it has been mapped with a minimum of 64 and a max of 127. So let's exit out. Oop, nope, not that much out. Just out of the MIDI mapping. Okay, now you'll see this is turning on and off. It's a beautiful thing. All right, I'm going to stop that clip. Now, <clears throat> if you want this clip to just turn auto filter on, you can turn the loop off, hit play. It's on. Now, if we duplicate this clip and we flip it, we go from 127 to 0. So right now the clip is on, uh, the device is on. When I fire my off clip, you'll see that it's turned off. Um, and you can map anything this way. Let's do one more example. Let's go to channel 51 and let's go 0 to 127. Let's play that clip. Now I want to map this one to the frequency of my auto filter. So you click frequency, command M, it's been mapped. I like to turn this up a little bit higher than the lowest possible because I always want at least a little bit of sound to come through. Let's exit out. Now you'll see that um, my auto filter is, is rocking there. Um, so if I turn this on and play a little something. Um, and then if I stop that clip, it stops. Now if I hit my off clip, it's off. 
hit my on clip. It's on. Um, now the great thing about this is you can combine clips. So that's my off clip. This is my on clip. So if you go ahead and come in here, so we know that's channel 31 that is our on clip. So let's say that we want this to turn our auto filter on and then simultaneously be controlling the filter frequency. Um, now, when I fire this clip, give you a better demo of that. So let's turn this off. Fire this clip. Turns it on and adjust the frequency. Now, if this was just sort of a one time deal, you didn't want that to. Um, to continue looping, you would just click the loop button off and it would do its thing and it would stop. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, head over to my website at mainstage to ableton.com forward slash go to get your free copy of the fast track patch list guide that'll have you up and running with a main stage style patch list inside Ableton Live in no time at all. And to stay up to date with all of our latest blog posts and videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel here. Until next time.